welcome back. <laughs> that hurt. Mother trucker, dude. Today we're gonna attempt to make some succulent cupcakes with this mold and all, all of this these. cupcake stuff. So let's get started. So this is everything we have. So our plan is to split it up and have half of them be chocolate, half of them being vanilla. Um, we have these cute little holders for them. We got them on clearance at TJ Maxx. <laughs> and then this was from Joann's. It's like a Wilton brand succulent mold that we're going to use. And for the mold, we're going to use some of these baking chips. They are Meyer brand. Thank you, deals. <laughs> Along with coordinating frostings. These are green sprinkles to kind of resemble moss or grass or whatever it's going to be. This is to help color some of the baking chips so it looks kind of like a succulent. These are eggs. They come from chickens. Wow. <laughs> they actually came from her mom's chickens, so we saved on that. Yeah. Free eggs. And then we're going to crumble up some Oreos and Nilla wafers to kind of look like dirt. Obviously, this is just going to be kneaded in the mix, and then voila, Yeah, we don't have any, like, cooking bowls yet, so we're using Tupperware. Love it. Does that still look too chunky? Nope, I'm too chunky. Shut up. <laughs> so we made our vanilla mix according to the box. Dakota gave it a really good stir. And we have both kinds of liners in here. We have the oven already preheated, and those guys are going in. We made a double boiler for the candy melts, and then we'll have to put some coloring in there. Just to note, we're not slobs. That is just uh, extra candle wax. <laughs> LOL. Oh yeah, I love that chocolate. Now we're gonna put some of our off-brand Nilla wafers into a bag. I dropped one, but it's okay. And I'm gonna have Dakota crush them. And then I think we're gonna add some of the green sprinkles just so it's like a little bit of moss mixed in there. We're gonna do that for both the Oreos and the Nilla wafers. This is for the boy in fourth grade that would throw his trash in my desk every time I opened it. Wow. Now we're going to add some of our green sprinkles so it's sort of like there's a little bit of moss in there. <laughs> ah! What? It's coming out. I think you hit it too hard. Well, I'm going to get a plate. So here's our mossy sand. I think it's looking pretty good. Hi guys. I got a mouthful of Nilla wafers right now. Give me a second. So we just took the first batch of vanilla cupcakes out of the oven. And I'd say that they look pretty good. Nice and golden. She did the toothpick test and they turned out all right, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think they look pretty good. Yeah. And that's coming from a person who doesn't really like cake. <laughs> yeah. And so right now we're working on uh, melting that chocolate. The double boiler did not work that well. I mean, it worked. It was just way too hot for us to work with. Yeah. So that's that on that. So our first batch of the candy melts got a tiny bit burnt, but I think they'll be okay. Are you sure about that? How old did these do now? I don't know, we'll find out. That first batch of chocolate is a complete and utter flop. Um, so we're making new ones and we're about to start on the chocolate cake mix. This is for extra, like later on. She wants to make cake balls with it. We fixed the second batch up with some oil and microwaved it instead of the double boiler and it turned out much better. And to color it we added a good amount of green mixed with some yellow, red, and just a couple drops of blue. 
And I think that's a pretty realistic color. So we're gonna try to fill these molds up and see how it goes. And she lined them with a little bit of Pam. Just in case, I don't want them to like crack coming out of the mold, you know? Yeah. So these are all done and they're in the freezer. Figured we'd leave them in there for maybe like a half hour or so to let it set and then we'll take them out and see how they turned out. We have a lot of Morningstar stuff. So I'm gonna frost the first batch of cupcakes and Dakota's filling the second batch of the chocolate ones here. Zoe is frosting the vanilla cupcakes to eventually dip into the dirt thing. And I just put the chocolate ones in the oven. So yeah, I think it's going well. And this is still a mess. <laughs> I don't even know what that is anymore. Would you like to do the honors of dipping the first cupcake? Yeah. Tag yourself. That's me. So here's our first attempt at coating the cupcake. Ooh. That turned out pretty good. Look at that. Here, let me just focus on it. Ooh. So here's some of our first batch. And just focus in on them. I think they're pretty cute. The green didn't come out as mossy as I imagined, but I think it's still cute. What would you think? Yeah. Here is our succulent chocolate pieces. Oh boy, this is the big moment. Ooh. <gasps> wow! <gasps> that looks so good! Oh my god, hold Check on. Check that out! Hold on. <gasps> That's so cute. That's what so the heck? Cool. Come here, guys. Let's go. Wow! Let's go put it on one of them. <laughs> That actually came out great. That's <laughs> like super cool. All right, got a little bit of chocolate. Okay, which one? This one. Okay. Oh my gosh. <gasps> <gasps> ah! <laughs> How cute! <laughs> Rosanna Pansina <laughs> who? We only have one uncovered, but the rest have little succulents on them. This one was like an experimental one. We, um, put the two tiny ones on the side and the big one here. It has a little blemish on it, like a little air pocket. And these two here, they just kind of got coated with the um, Nulla wafers and stuff. So that's gonna be a tester boy. <laughs> we already sampled one. It's sitting up there. And it tastes pretty good, I would Here, say. y'all, have a bite. Ow. <laughs> And then our chocolate ones just came out and we're just waiting for them to cool. The one in the middle there is a little flat, but we're putting a succulent on it, so no one's gonna care. We're gonna do our Oreos now for the dirt, for the chocolate ones. So, here's Dakota. chocolate dirt and we're just gonna add some of the sprinkles to it. I think this one looks mossier, what would you say? Yeah, it's darker so it would work better. Yeah, I like the contrast. She took the top off of it. Wow. Oh lord Jesus, it's some moss. I dropped an Oreo on the floor. That's offensive. Woo! Yeah, the dip action. That's some chunky dirt. Welcome to ASMR Chocolate Succulent Edition. Oh yeah. Here are some of our final ones. We have a couple left that need succulents, so we're gonna fix that in a second. But 
these ones came out with some more air bubbles than the other ones did. We tapped them, but they just came out with some more air. They're still cute nonetheless though, and you can tell what they are, so I think it's okay. So here's our little display. We've got one more chocolate than we have vanilla, but I think it'll be more than enough for the amount of people coming tomorrow. It is now the day after our little party, and this is just what's left from the cupcakes. Everyone enjoyed them fairly like well. I mean, a couple people even took a couple of them home. So as much as I enjoy making cake and stuff, I don't really like eating it personally. So we're gonna bring a couple of these to our landlord, cause you know, why not? He's a good landlord, so. Itch, 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 itch. He's an itchy boy. Yeah, he licks his itching toe, huh? <laughs> but anyway, we have an appointment for him on Thursday. And today's Tuesday. So, you know, he's a busy cat this week. So, apparently the landlord office is closed until tomorrow. Of course it had to be just today. The last book that I'm missing for school is in, so we're just gonna go get that and see if there's any college students that want some cupcakes. In the end, the staff at the bookstore at our college ended up taking our cupcakes, so pretty easy to pawn those off when they yeah. had cute little succulents on them, so they didn't go to waste. So thanks for joining us and making those cupcakes through our mistakes and our successes. Debatable. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by giving it a like and subscribing to our channel for future upcoming videos. Um, if you have any ideas, go ahead and leave them in a comment below. We read and respond to all comments. Catch you later! <laughs> <laughs> he just bit me! I think it was like a love bite. No. Anyway. Wow! Ouch! Ouchie boy! <laughs> How do I shut this thing off, Nancy? Nancy? <laughs> I don't... You're filming your face, Marge! Oh, well, how do I shut it off? <laughs>